welcome to Learn, Grow, Bloom. I'm here with my friend Ayla today and we're going to make pudding sundaes. We actually talked about pudding sundaes in a larger glass, didn't we? But we decided we maybe want a smaller one and we could serve more people that way. So what we are going to do is take what's in this box, which we know what's in this box, but maybe they don't at home. So Let's tell them it's pudding, and it's instant pudding that we're going to use. And we're going to follow their directions on the box. And on the box, the directions are on the side. See all these words and all these letters over here make up the directions. And we're going to follow those directions and try to make the pudding. Because if we don't follow the directions, we won't have pudding. So we've got to make sure and follow the directions. And I think it says that we need two cups of what? two cups of milk, right? So we're gonna get this box open. You open that box for me, would you? And while you open that box, I'm going to take and put milk in the measure, and then you're gonna dump it in. Okay. Good job. That's a tough box, isn't it? Let's see if we can't get that baby open. There we go. Now, what we're gonna do is open this package. Would you like to pour it in there? Do you do that at home with your mom? I bet so, because when I had a little girl, we cooked a lot in the house, and we always let my daughter pour the ingredients in the bowl. So, knowing that you're going to do that, let's open this up so that we're sure that the ingredients goes into the bowl, okay? And you can just pour it in there. You wanna use your other hand, or both hands? You wanna turn it that way? There you go. You might need both hands, Ayla. And if you hold it on the sides, it'll come out a little bit better for you. Good job. What color is that pudding? It is kind of a brown color, isn't it? Keep going. Still coming out. Boy, there's a lot in there, isn't there? There you go. Shake it around a little bit and knock it around. The there you go. Keep going. Perfect. Now, we'll just shove our trash in the box. There you go. And do you have any more trash? Good. And we can just put this aside because all we already know that it needs two cups of milk. So this is right now a powdery stuff, isn't it? You want to feel it with your fingers and feel what I mean by powder? It feels like powder. What's it smell like? It smells chocolatey, doesn't it? So now your job is going to be to get this inside the bowl. All right. You got it? I'm going to let, okay. Let me, next time I'll let go and you can pour it in. Now that was one cup, it needs one more cup. So we're gonna put it in and measure. Is that a cup or do I need a little bit more? What do the directions say? A full cup, right? So we better follow the directions and give it just a little bit more. There we go. So now you can take that, lift it up and got it. Whoops, there you go. Okay, are we done? Now we're gonna stick that in the sink. How about that? Thank goodness, the sink is close. Now what are we gonna to use to mix it all together? Did you know that a milk is a liquid? Milk is a liquid and that milk was white. We talked about that earlier in one other segment, didn't we? Now we're gonna stir it up and stir it up good. So help me get a handle on this thing and we're gonna stir it. You getting a handle on it? Put your hand on there and help me stir it because it needs your magic touch, Ayla. Are you ready? You're probably not a lefty like I am. You're probably a righty. We'll kind of stir it up, get all the lumps out of it because our pudding will be nice and smooth that way. And while this has gotten mixed up, what we're going to do, Ayla, is we're going to set this aside over here on the bar, we're gonna sit it over here on the table aside, and it's going to do something special. It's gonna kind of set up a little bit. It's not gonna be so runny and liquidy like it is now. And as that sets, we've got another job to do. And here's what our job is. Our job is to take, what's that? What's this? It's Cool Whip, isn't it? And we're gonna put the Cool Whip in the Sundays so that's our first job, and guess what? I've gotta have one more little spoon, because I think we're gonna need a little spoon um, for this part. So we'll set you up here, and your job is going to be to put 
the Cool Whip in just a little bit. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to take a little Cool Whip and we're going to put it in the bottom like that. Maybe just a little bit more because, you know, I like Cool Whip, don't you? So there's a little bit of Cool Whip. And then you know what else we're going to add? We're going to add some mint chips, but only these are green. Let me see if I can't open these without spilling them all over the countertops here. There we go. And we'll turn them this way so people can see what they look like. And we're going to take and we're going to put a little bit and we're going to sprinkle them on the top like that. So there's a few in there. And then um, as soon as this pudding sets up a little bit more, we're going to put another layer of pudding and then another layer of Cool Whip. So now your job is to go ahead and put some Cool Whip in. Okay, do you want to use your other hand? Or which hand do you use to, um, does that feel right? Does that feel comfortable to you or do you want to use the other hand? Okay, it's kind of stuck on there. Should I get another spoon? Let's just take it and put it like this. You hold on to it, I'm sorry. There you go, scrape it in there, good girl. Okay, now let's take another one. We can put the sprinkles on here in a minute and um, you want to use that spoon and scoop it off for me? Scoop it off there so that it goes into? Oh, very good. Okay, so now we have two done so far. How many more are left to do? We have these two done, and we have this one done. How many are left? Okay, just one. Here we go. We'll put the Cool Whip in the bottom, and your job again is to what? Scoop it off. Okay, do we need a little bit more? I think we need a little bit more. Let's just do it. Perfect. Now, your job is going to be to take, I like how you put that spoon back in the Cool Whip container. Now your job is going to be to take those sprinkles and put it over the chocolate, or put it over the Cool Whip. Your turn. There's one done. Here's one. Very nice. Here's another one. Oh, good job. How many are left? Okay, put that one on. Nice job. Okay, next, what's our next step? What do we do next? We've gotta have the chocolate pudding and look what happened. It's not runny anymore, is it? No, it's not. So we're gonna take, we're gonna cheat a little bit, Ayla. We're gonna take this spoon right here because then we don't have to do more dishes, you know? And I don't really want to do more dishes, do you? Okay, so we're gonna take this pudding and we're gonna to top it off right here. Are you ready? We're gonna to top it like that. So your job is gonna to be to scoop some pudding on top of there. Get of it a couple more scoops. Okay, just dump it on, keep going. One more. Oh, that was a good scoop. Nice job, Ayla. Let's do one more. Perfect. Oh, good job, Ayla. Okay, now guess what? We need to have a little bit more Cool Whip, don't we? Because now we've got a pattern. We've got a layer of Cool Whip and we've got chocolate. Now we need another layer of Cool Whip. So go ahead and scoop it off. Wow. And let's put a dollop of Cool Whip on. Boy, that's gonna be a good one there. Okay, now, guess what? We gotta have more sprinkles, don't we? And there's our sundae. And you know what? I love bananas. You could even slice bananas to put on here. You could take a little vanilla wafer cookie if you wanted to and put it on too, but there's your pudding sundae, okay? Ayla and I are gonna have a treat. If you guys wanna make pudding sundaes at your home, just remember all you need is pudding, follow the directions on the box, layer it with Cool Whip, and put your favorite topping on. Let's get a spoon, Ayla, and let's try it.